we're going to talk about discounts and markups. And these questions on the test will mostly come in word problems. And it's usually about selling something and either you're going to get it on a discount, which most of us know that's like a sale, or someone buys something and then they're going to mark it up and resell it so that they can make a profit. So that's really the context of these questions. So for example, here's a question you might get. A store owner buys a dress for $50. He marks it up 90%. How much does he sell it for? So normally you know, stores, they'll buy uh, merchandise and then they mark it up so that they can make a profit off of it when they sell it. So he buys it for $50, marks it up 90%. So what you should be thinking about, it's 90% of $50. So the question in your mind first should be, what is 90% of fifty dollars. Now some of you probably know how to figure that out and in the algebra videos um, you'll see kind of how to change words into mathematical symbols. But I'm going to give you a preview here. So what means that's what we don't know. So we're trying to figure that out. Is means equals. So what equals 90 percent Remember, we can't multiply percentages, so we don't want to stick a 90 in there. We have to change that to a real number. And so if you don't know how to do that, watch the video on percentages. But 90%, so I'm just going to do it quickly. The decimal place is here. You're going to move it to the left two spots. One, two. So 90% is 0 0.90. We normally don't write the zero on the end after the decimal. So we have 0 0.9. Again, if you don't know how to get from 90% to 0.9, you need to watch the video on percentages. Of means times. So we're going to multiply. 50. So what is 90% of 50? Because that's what it says. He bought it for $50 and marked it up 90%. So what is 90% of 50? All you're going to do is multiply 0.9 times 50, and that's going to give you your answer. So if you plug that into your calculator, 0.9 times 50, it's 45. So 45 is 90 percent of 50. So 45 is 90 percent of 50. That means he marked it up by 45 dollars. So how much? Is, so don't write this down as the answer because that would be the markup. But the question is, how much does he sell it for? Well, he's going to sell it for how much he bought bought it for, plus the markup. So he's going to sell it for $95. So make sure you read the question. And so it says, you know, how much does he sell? If it says, how much was the markup? Well, this is the markup. It's 90% of 50. But how much is he going to sell it for? He's going to sell it for how much he bought it for plus the markup. So it's original price plus the markup gives you your final sales price. So when you're doing markup questions, you take the original plus the markup is going to give you your final sales price. Take a pause and put another question up. So here's kind of a similar problem, but now we're talking about discounts. So a store owner is selling a dress for $95. It doesn't sell, so he discounts it by 90% or otherwise he, he puts it on sale. What is the discounted price that he sells it for? So I use the same numbers as the first um, problem to show you that these are very different questions. So you're selling it for $95. You decide you're going to have to take 90% off. You're going to discount it by 90%. So what is your final price? So you're going to ask yourself, what is 90% of 95. That should be the words that are going through your head. You can turn these into math symbols. What, we don't know, is means equals 90%. Remember, we have to write that as a decimal. Don't put a 90 there. Of means times, so we're going to multiply 95. 0.9 times 95 equals 85.50. So $85.50. That is the discount. That is not the final price. 
So that's how much he's marking it down. He's discounting it by $85.50. So the final price is you take the original minus the discounted price, or the discount, sorry, and you get your final price. So here is the original minus the discount equals the final sales price. So if you remember when we did a markup, we took the original plus the markup and got the final sales price. Here we're discounting it, we're making it cheaper. So original minus the discount equals the final sales price. Next we're going to do a couple of, uh, they're kind of similar problems, but they have a different take on them. So the next two problems we're going to do have to do with the percent of markup or the percent of discount. So these are two variations on the problems we just saw that could be on the test. And the, the key to this is you have to remember this. The percent, and it's, we're going to have to actually change it to a percentage, but is change over original. Just remember that. Change over original. And we're going to do two problems here. So Joe buys a bike for $150. He sells it for $375. What is the percent markup? So they're not asking you what the markup is, because remember the markup would just be you went from 150 to 375 so you just find the difference between those two and that's the markup so the change that's what I'm calling the change the change in price this is always going to be a positive number so don't make this a negative so you're going to take 375 minus 150 and you're going to get 225 so the change in the price is just 375 minus 150. It went up by $225. That's what we call the markup. So you take the change, which is 225, our original price. So that's what that means. What was the original price? 150. And remember, this looks like a fraction. Fractions are just divisions. 225 divided by 150. So you put that into your calculator. 225 divided by 150. And you get 1.5. That is not the percentage, so this is kind of in quotes here. We have to change this number to a percentage. Again, if you don't know how to do that, watch the video on percentage. But all we're going to do is move the decimal to the right two places. We have a real number. We're going to make it a percentage. We move the decimal to the right two places and we get 150 percent. So the percent markup, we found the change in the price and we put it over the original price and we got 150 percent. Now when we do a chain, a, a discount, a percent discount, it's going to be the same type of formula, change over original. So Kevin buys a table for $400. He puts it on sale for $300. What is the discount? What is the percent discount? So when you see the word percent discount, percent markup, that's this, that's this thing that we're doing right here. So what's the change? You went from $400 to $300. That's a change of $100. What was the original price? He bought it for $400. 100 divided by 400 equals 0.25. Just stick that in your calculator. What's 100 divided by 400? 0 0.25. This is not the answer. You have to change this to a percentage. 
one, two, it's 25%. That is the percent discount. So two different types of problems, but they all kind of uh, work together.